Thanks for tuning in at 10 p.m. to Racing from Delaware Park. I'm Rich Glazier, and we're going to take a look at Saturday's races, and how do you like that Saturday? You know, for years I've been saying it never rains on Saturday at Delaware Park, and today was a, what an example. We've had nothing but cloudy, rainy, miserable days for a week, and today the sun shone brightly on our old Stanton home. And a beautiful day it was. But the turf was still a little too wet to run on. But maybe today's all-day sunshine will help dry it out for Monday. So all the races today were run on the main track. So Bungie didn't have a pick today. Well, he had one, but it doesn't count because it wouldn't run on the turf. And speaking of turf, uh, uh, last night, if you didn't stay up till 1 o'clock in the morning, Twix. <laughs> Twix. Winks. <laughs> Winks, the Australia Wonder Horse. Won for the 27th time in a row. She's, she's just dynamite. She just takes her time, and then when they turn into the stretch, off she goes. So in case you didn't get the word, Winks wins for the 27th time in a row in Australia. Now, Bungie had no pick today, so let's see if he's got one for Monday. Yes, he, the fact that he dropped down out of the sky means he does. And who is it, Bungie? Keone. Keone is his horse for Monday. All right. Taking a shot, he said. Loves the breeding. Okay, well, that's what it's all about, right? All right. All right, now we've got eight races to show you on this Saturday night. So, uh... Let's get started by taking a look at who was in the first race. And I can guarantee you this, the first race will be won by a Delaware certified horse because it was a Delaware certified race. Everybody in the race was Delaware certified. So that really didn't give you any clue as to who won. The favorite in the field was a jumping and a jiving at three to five. So let's turn the mic over to Mr. John Curran with the call. We're about set. And they're off. That's an even start for them all. Lady Tour the inside goes for that lead. Imogen horses are jumping and a jiving. Northern Wind is up there on the outside as they make their way down the back stretch with Double Cross also in the fray. Four across the track, then a gap about two lengths further back. Up on the outside, Tidy Stripe, and toward the inside, that's Blazing DR. Bunched up on the front end as he races into the turn. Now Double Cross on the inside. Northern Wind up on the outside, and Northern Wind now powers to the front quickly, opens up to Lentz on the field. Tidy Stripe in pursuit second, followed by a jumping and a driving. Blazing DR also moving up as Double Cross is given in, and the trailer is Atlantia with a quarter to go. Northern Wind to catch, leads it by three and a half lengths. Tidy Stripe toward the outside, a jumping and a driving, moving up toward the inside as they turn for home with Northern Wind in front by four. They're battling for second right now with Tidy Stripe and a jumping and a driving with just over 16th to go. Northern Wind put them away around the far turn and easily has this one by about five lengths. A jumping and driving in the second, followed by Tidy Stripe, a distant fourth was blazing. And it was Northern Wind running like the wind. For what an angel, Angel Suarez for Keith Nations. Always good to see Keith there. He'll run a lot more here now, I think, that Monmouth has closed. Stony Brook Stables and Nations Racing Stable, LLC. Northern Wind returns 920, 340 to 10. A jumping and a jiving with Garcia, 240 to 10. Tidy Stripe with Sedeno, to 10. Exact in the opener in 1960, the try 2680. And the super with the 26380. And of course, that winner was another Delaware certified winner, as they were all Delaware certified horses. All right, on we go to race two, and this one at five furlongs. Two year old maiden special weight race. Always like them. Scratch the two, Smoky Smoke. The odds-on favorite was Winning Drive, number five. 
for the Jason Service Barn. And now let's take a look at it. And they're off. Looked like the four got away a step slowly there. Savage music. And firing out alertly was American Diplomat for that lead. Tiger Bright moves up quickly on the inside second, followed by Winning Drive. Smithwick Spice on the outside, down toward the inside, Savage Music, and decisively. As they pass the half-mile marker, under a half-mile to go, and on the front end, American Diplomat showing the way. Leads it by a half. But here comes Winning Drive to quickly take that one on. Then a gap of over two to Savage Music and Smithwick Spice. Then a gap of four more to Decisively and Tiger Bright. Around the bend, Winning Drive has taken command. Leads it now by two, two and a half. Up on the outside, Smithwick Spice rallies into second. Dropping back, American Diplomat between horses. Savage Music as they turn for home. Looks like the favorites are going to go at it. Winning Drive on the inside, Smithwick Spice on the outside. And now Smith, Smithwick Spice goes right on by. Leads it by two, by three. Winning Drive. Hanging in there in second, but it's all Smithwick Spice going clear. We'll win this one by about five or six. Just hanging on to second is winning drive, followed by Savage Music, and American Diplomat may have held on to fourth over decisively. And it was Smithwick Spice with Jorge Gonzalez, another mammoth shipper. They're, they're doing well. In fact, they take the double. Doug Nunn is the trainer for New Spice Stable. 660, 240, 210. Winning drive, the favorite with Pino, 210, 210. Savage Music with Suarez, 260. The exact of $13, the try, 3760. The double, 2320. The super with the three, 5480. And that winner was another Delaware certified winner. So that makes it a certified. Delaware certified daily double as the first two, 23.20 for that Delaware certified double. And both of them also coming from Monmouth. All right, on to the third we go in the third race. Was originally scheduled for the turf run on the fast main track and scratched the well, the two was a late scratch, ran off in the post parade. So check your tickets there. Also scratched the four, the seven, and the nine. This one's at a mile and 70 yards. Here's John Kern. And they're off. To the inside, lays a focus away well. Attaway Max is there with chirping up on the outside. Those three across the track. Right behind them, it's El Soldador and the trailer, Razzie's reward as they race into that first turn. Laser Focus leads them by about a length and a half. Up on the outside, that's Attaway Max, chirping still three wide around that bend. Down toward the inside, saving all the ground, El Soldador and five more to Razzie's reward. As they race toward the backstretch, opening quarter goes in, 24 and two, and on the front end, down the back stretch is laser focused by three parts of a length. Attaway Max is right there. Toward the inside, it's El Soldador. And up there, four wide. Chirping's had a wide going the entire race so far. Then far back, the trailer, Razzie's reward. They race toward the half mile marker. And on the front end, well, we're still bunched up there. Four across the track. Laser focus on the inside. Moving up between horses. There goes El Soldador up on the outside, out of way, Max and chirping still wide, but three wide now and making a bid for that lead as they race into the turn. Here comes your favorite chirping to take on out of way, Max and now chirping to the front by a length. Out of way, Max racing second, followed by El Soldador. Laser Focus has dropped out of it and Razzie's reward never in it. They've got a quarter to go. They're well strung out and chirping leads it. Only one of threat right now is still out of way, Max. It was with about three and a half lengths as they head for home. The six went in 113 and four, and it's chirping in front now by five. Chirping in command. Adam Max clearly second best right now, then about seven lengths further back to Razzie's reward up into third, but it's all chirping, gonna win as the rider pleases here. Chirping, drawing away with every stride, wins it by maybe 13, 14 lengths or so. Adam Max getting second, followed by Razzie's reward. Well, that was the bungee's pick. Of course, it didn't count. Because it wasn't on the turf, but Chirping was certainly ready to roll and certainly did roll as the big favorite and won by about 10 lengths or so. Go uh, with Koa, Kaibar Koa, for Tom Proctor in the Glen Hill Farm. 
220, 210, 210. Out of way, Max, with Cedeno, $3, 220. And Razzie's re reward with Whitney, 320. That exacta paid 720. The try 2440. The double just six dollars and twenty cents. That's the consolation double. The regular double wasn't much more, nine dollars and forty cents. Consolation pick three paid eleven thirty. The real pick three paid seventeen eighty and the super fifteen dollars. Yeah, chirping. The winner was claimed by Andy Simoff. And that brings us to the fourth race on the car. Fourth race had a field of seven and there were no scratches. And a couple nine to five shots in here. The three and the five vied for favoritism. And here's John. And they're off. To the outside, Arizona Baby Breakswell goes for that lead. Durrett Lane is right there toward the inside, followed by Tequesta Storm down along the rail, Duke and Waddell. Small giant in between horses up on the outside, Mr. October, and the favorite, Sir Bond, will have to pass them all as they move down the back stretch. On the front end, it's Arizona Baby by three parts over Durrett Lane. Mr. October is going nicely in third as they race into the turn. Then two and a half lines further back to Duke and Waddell to quest the storm. Sir Bond's going to move up three wide, and Small Giant is the trailer. They've got three eighths of a mile to go, and on the front end, it's still Arizona Baby, but there goes Mr. October. Now Mr. October engaging and going on by, and Sir Bond, the two favorites, will square off as they hit the top of the stretch. On the inside, Mr. October. On the outside, Sir Bond. Sir Bond has a length to make up with a furlong to go. Next in line, it's... In between horses, Duke and Waddell, but it's Mr. October holding on gamely. Mr. October, Sir Bond on the outside won't have it. It's Mr. October to get it. Sir Bond settles for second. And ball. winning here in September was none other than Mr. October for CC Carol Cedeno, Kieran McGee, the trainer, Helen Marshall, the owner. 560, 280, 240. Sir Bond with Suarez. $3.260, the two favorites running one and two, and Dukin with Dale with Whitney. $2.40, the exact the $17.40, the try $42. Bucks. Double paid $9.40, pick three, $11.90. The actual pick three paid $17.50. And the pick four paid $49. The super with the seven, $42.60. Claimed. Yes, claimed person. Sir Bond was claimed by Bruno Tesori. So we've had a couple Delaware certified. We've had a couple claims. And we now go to the fifth race, which was originally scheduled for the turf. And that one was run on the main track at one mile and 70 yards. Scratch the three, the four, the seven, the eight. And a couple four to five shots here. The one, how bad Dan Pats, and the five, Gilgamesh. Both the four to five. It's funny to see two odds on horses in one race, but with a short field, that can happen. So here's John with the call. We're set. And they're off. Between horses, Gilgamesh goes for that lead, joined by Kolasanja King. Toward the inside, it's how about them pats? Focus up on the outside, and the slow starting most likely is the trailer, but we'll go wide into that first turn. On the front end, it's Gilgamesh by about a length. Toward the inside, Kulasaja King focuses right there up on the outside, most likely still with a wide journey around the bend. And how about them Pats is at the back. As they reach the back stretch, opening quarter goes in 25 seconds flat. And Gilgamesh showing the way by a length over Focusol. 
Up there three wide, it's most likely toward the inside, Kula Saja King. And how about them, Pats continues at the back as they make their way down the back stretch. Gilgamesh on the front end, leads it still by about a length and a quarter. Up on the outside, most likely as moving up in between horses, now Kula Saja King clearly over in the second, making a three wide move. How about them, Pats down the backside, taking over third, then most likely has dropped back, as has Focusol as they race into the turn. Half went in 50 seconds flat. Not that taxing as they race into the bend. We're going to have three across the track here. And rushing up on the outside, how about them Pats? On the outside, sticks ahead in front. Gilgamesh right there on the inside, trying to battle back. Kula Saja King trying to hang in there in third. The other two are out of it as they turn for home. And how about them Pats has taken over, leads it by two lengths. Gilgamesh toward the inside, racing second, followed by up on the outside. That's Kula Saja King with a furlong to go. It's all how about them Pats by four by five. Now Gilgamesh has dropped back distantly in second, followed by Kula Sancha King. How about them Pats? Easy score by about five and a half. Gilgamesh second best. Five. How about them Pats wins easily here. Another win at two in a row for our leading jockey, Carol Cedeno, CC. For Ned Allard and Stonehenge LLC. 380, 210, 210. Gilgamesh with Koa, 210, 210. As once again, the favorites run 1 2. Kula Hasachka King, who's desperately been trying to get on the turf, runs third on the dirt and pays 210 with kills. Exact the six bucks, the try 1220, the double 1540, the pick 3 1180. And no superfecta in here. So it's certainly been a formful day. Not any long shots coming in at all. We'll see if that's going to change with the six races, six, seven, and eight left to go. And here's the field for race six. And we had a field of six in the six to go six. So we're going six furlongs in race six, a field of six. And the even money favorite was the two, socially driven. Here's John Kern with the call. And they're off. Nora's drama breaks well on the far outside, will quickly have that lead and can easily cut across and quickly a four length lead for Nora's drama shortly after the start. Racing second, that is socially driven, followed by single mission up on the outside, Sonora with the rail, then Trikazar and Queen Nakia the trailer. But Nora's drama after that alert beginning, clear of the field by about five lengths as they race into the turn. Socially driven, chasing in second, two lengths further back to Trikazar third, Sonora has the rail, single mission right alongside, and Queen Nakia is at the back. It's still Nora's drama showing the way as they make their way into the turn. Leads it now, but only by a half and quickly being passed by Socially Driven as Nora's Drama is thrown in the towel. Up on the outside, it's Trikazar followed by Sonora and Single Mission as they head for home. Socially Driven to the front by two. Trikazar in pursuit second, followed by up on the outside, Single Mission and Sonora trying to rally Queen Nakia with the rail. But a 16th ago, Socially Driven leads it by three lengths. Trikazar second best, it's going to be Socially Driven. And Carol Sedano winning another one on the day by three and a half. Trikazar getting second, followed by Single Mission and Sonora. And the winner was the favorite again, socially driven. And how about that, Carol? A natural hat trick, as they say. Three straight wins for Carol Sedano. And she increasing her lead in the jockey standings immensely. Wayne Potts, the trainer for Top Hat Thoroughbreds, four dollars, two eighty to ten. Trickazar with Koa, nine dollars and five forty. Single Mission with Jose Garcia, four twenty. That exact a thirty-seven bucks. The try, two thirty-six twenty. The one-two punch double. 11.20, the pick three, 16.20, and a super with the ever popular one finishing fourth, 
37680. Yes, Sonora was claimed by J Jesse Cruz. All right, on to the lucky seventh race. Lucky seventh was originally scheduled for the turf, but transferred to the main track, but the distance stays five furlongs. Let's see who's scratched here. The one the part of the entry via turf, the three masked cove, the nine contrarity, and the 10 little united. The three to five odds on favorite was the 1A trusty roll. Here's the lucky seventh with Mr. Kern at the mic. We're set. And they're off. Buffs and Love breaks well. Stella Nova on the far outside. Right there is Unbridled Escape with that group, and Unbridled Escape the Gray leads it by about a length. Stella Nova toward the outside. Dat Deer's Gold moves up on the inside of Lady Keswick. Buffs and Love quickly back in the fifth. Then Pretty Tricky toward the inside as they race in the turn. Then Trusty Roll moves up the favorite, beginning to advance, and Intractable is at the back. They race into the turn. Unbridled Escape on the inside. Right there on the outside, Stella Nova, Lady Keswick between them. Trusty Rolls moving up on the outside in fourth. Buffs and Love is right there in fifth as they head for home with Stella Nova leading by a length. Trusty Roll, the favorite, ranging up on the far outside. Between horses, Buffs and Love down toward the inside, still hanging in there on Bridal Escape and Lady Keswick. It's Buffs and Love and Stella Nova on even terms. Trusty Roll has to do more. Buffs and Love begins to edge away. Buffs in Love and on the outside, coming back, Stella Nova. Buffs and Love wins it by a neck. Stella Nova second. Trust Trusty Roll got third. Late run from Pretty Tricky up for fourth. And what do you know? Who wins the seventh race? The seventh. Boy, that happens a lot, doesn't it? And it was Buffs in Love winning it for Anthony Nunez. For owner trainer John Worsley. John gets his first win of the meet. Way to go. He's been a longtime regular here at Delaware Park. And Buffs and Love returns 920, 440, 240. One of the biggest prices of the day uh, today. Stella Nova with Keos, 760, 340. And Trusty Roll, the favorite, with uh, Suarez, 210. The exact is 7680. The try, 160, 240. That double paid 3460. The pick three. 28.50. The pick five, even that one didn't pay a lot today. 2.98.10 to be exact. And the dollar super with the two running fourth, 3.43.20. And, and that winner was <laughs> another Delaware certified winner. The third one of the day. And what did I hear in the background? Coins. That's right. His voice is getting stranger and stranger. <laughs> Trusty Roll was claimed, in fact, by Hugh McMahon. So we had a claim, we had a Delaware certified, and we had the lucky seven winning the seventh. And that brings us to the eighth and final. And it is at six furlongs. For fillies and mares, and there was two scratches. Why not be sexy? Was scratched, as was our lucky charm. And looks like the odds on favorite, Porte Cacere, at four to five. And they're going to go three quarters of a mile or six furlongs. A furlong, by the way, is an eighth of a mile. Uh, so if you have six furlongs, that's six eighths, reducing that to the lowest common denominator is three quarters of a mile. And that's how we determine that. All right, well, you'll be tested on this at a future date. Meanwhile, let's watch them go, those six furlongs. And they're off. 
Plenty B breaks well, goes to that lead, but up on the outside, there goes Foxy Joxy to quickly wrestle that lead away. Foxy Joxy leads it by about a length. Plenty B back in the second, followed by up on the outside, Big Mama. Port Cotri in between horses. Scorpion Dancer settles in the fifth. Only about three lengths separates the field as they race toward the half mile marker. On the front end, it's Foxy Joxy by three parts of a length. Port Cotri now up to challenge for that lead, and the favorites are going at it as they race into the turn. Big Mama on the far outside going along in third, followed by Linny B, and Scorpion Dancer continues the trail about four and a half lengths off that lead as they race into the turn. From the outside, Port Cotri now to the front by a half over. Dropping back toward the inside, Foxy Joxy up on the outside, it's Big Mama. Then about three lengths to Linny B and Scorpion Dancer as they turn for home. Port Cotri toward the outside, leads it by a length. On the far outside, Big Mama now with a seam to run through. Here comes Scorpion Dancer, last down the backstretch, but first at the furlong grounds and beginning to edge away. They're set up perfectly for Scorpion Dancer, and this one's going to win going away in the final 70 yards. Scorpion Dancer will win it. Big Mama and Foxy Joxy battling for second and third. That's going to be a tight photo on the inside. Maybe Foxy Joxy over Big Mama. And this could be a price. Let's see. Yeah, that's the best price of the day. So you, if you were looking for a price, you had to wait till the last race to get it. And I hope you did with Scorpion Dancer for Jose Garcia in the winner's circle. Jose Rodriguez, the trainer, Lower Lie Stables. So the Jose team strikes here. For a 1940 payoff, seven dollars to place, 360 to show. Foxy Joxy takes the place price with Angel Suarez, 520, 320. That's 320. Big Mama with Scampton, 280. Now let's look at the exotic prices. The exact of 113.60. The try 227.60. The final double, 144 dollars. It took a while to get these good prices, but we got them finally. And the dollar pick three 113.20. And the pick four, 244.50. And there was no superfecta. Claims. And there was a claim in the last race. We don't usually get them because it's usually the Arabian race. And the claim was Porte Cacere, the three horse, went to Tom Iannotti, the fourth. And that is a wrap on the Saturday card. A beautiful Saturday here, but certainly Saturday's our biggest competition day. And we even had eight races at Suffolk on the turf out of their 10 race card, something like that. So a lot of competition. Let's see how the handle was. This is how much was bet on Delaware Park from all around the country. 592,871. And that'll wrap it up for tonight's show. We're on every other night at 11. Tonight we're on at 10. And we hope you tune in every night. Thanks for watching. You can also go to YouTube Delaware Park and watch us anytime you want. Good night, everybody.